Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, how to sample an 808 kick. Uh, the 808 kick is very important in house music. Um, it's used pretty much everywhere. It's used for bass. It's used for kick, um, for the kick. So what we're going to do is we're going to sample it from Rebirth. You can get Rebirth from f for free from uh, from the Rebirth Museum, and just download that. You can get it for free and we're gonna go ahead and just sample it so what I'm doing right now is I'm just opening up a new track um, I cleared the pattern and we're just gonna have a base base kick on the very first note and we're turning everything up so we get a raw sound the decay is all the way up the tones all the way up the levels all the way up so we get the raw sound we can and Ableton will automatically um, recognize rebirth through the rewire interface and I'm just gonna go ahead and press play and click it on and there's your kick right there it's playing we're gonna record it um, the audio quality is not so good with this video capturing software um, but if you do this at home you're gonna get a much better quality uh, right now it sounds kind of distorted but um, uh, it's it's not distorted at um it's 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 not distorted from from my perspective it's just the audio recording software so what we just did is we recorded it so now we have a straight up sample right here and you can see that and we're going to crop that sample so we just have one kick then what we're going to do is we're going to import that kick into a uh, midi sampler and personally, I prefer to use the sampler. There's This is the sampler right here, but the sampler, I feel, is much more robust. So we right-click on it, and we convert it from sampler to sampler. And this allows us to edit um, and edit an actual MIDI track using that kick sample as the basis for our MIDI notes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a 4-4 pattern right here. And you can hear that come out. It's a 4-4 pattern. And it's and it cuts off at the end of that note. And we can change that through multiple ways. One way is to increase the release time um, all the way up so it naturally falls off later. Another way we can do that is if we go back to the actual MIDI file and, um, and increase the uh, note length. Um, and we can change the way that the 808 kick sounds with filters, with um, changing the attack time. Best way to figure it out is just to play with it, really. Um, just play with it yourself. Figure, figure out the, you know, what sounds the best for you. Um, so uh, we have our basic 404 kick, and we're gonna go back to the um, to the MIDI mini notes and what we can do is we can change that so that we can make the um, the kick sound longer sustain longer and then we can also make a bass sound from the mini kick so um, this is this is done in a lot of house songs it's just a sampled 808 you get a really thick nice sound because the um, the 808 kick is simply just a modulated uh, sine wave, so you get this really nice full bass sound in a club when when you play the song. So yeah, um, that's essentially um, how to sample an 808 kick. Uh, you can use it for all sorts of things. You can use it for a kick. You can use it for a bass sample. You know, you could pitch it up even more. Um, you know and, and use it for different percussion and stuff like that so best way to learn is just like I said just experiment with it experiment with the uh, release experiment with the filters experiment with the attack time um, try layering it um, uh, try using it for bass etc etc um, so I hope this is helpful and if you have any questions or comments feel free to post um, below in the comments section. Thank you.